Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, we're on a different beach today. We're at a place called Sylecroft, which is about five miles north of Haverig. And uh, the reason we come here, it's right on the Irish Sea and it's absolutely beautiful weather. Um, I mean, Haverig is on the Irish Sea, but it's in Morecambe Bay. So, um, you know, I don't think the tide is gonna bring as much in as it would here. It's been a little bit stormy this week as well. Um, and we've possibly got some good news. I think we might have secured a permission um, we went to a, a farm yesterday to pick up some free chairs that Marie had organised and I knocked on the door and um, asked if there's any chance I might be able to do some detecting on his land. Uh, really nice guy, the landowner, and he's really into his history and, I th and he's, yeah, he said yeah. Um, so I'm going to pop back next week, I've uh, got his phone number so I'll give him a ring um, and he kind of started off by saying oh, you probably won't find too much here. Um, and then he started going on about all the history in the land and there's quite a lot um quite a lot of activity over the last sort of few hundred years and there was a um a monastery sort of not too far away and the monks used to live in little settlements actually on his land um which obviously aren't there anymore so i think it could be quite a lot of good stuff there so and it's quite a rich roman and viking history area as well so and and the land's never been detected he's been there since the 40s and he said it's never been detected on so so it's all positive um i need to give him another ring um i'm not sure if he's going to let us film on his land though uh, he did mention that his dad wasn't too keen on social media and stuff so um it's possible we won't be able to film any videos there but if i kind of show him the sort of videos that we make and the fact that i'm just filming the ground and not his uh, land and you know not sort of showing off where they live it might might go down a bit better so uh, we'll try that next week try and get on that land and it's freezing cold so we'll get on with it and we'll see you on the first target Soilcroft is not very good for metal detecting on. It was just so incredibly quiet. So we've come back over to Haverig. Um, tides out, as you can see, so lots of land to be detecting on. So let's carry on. Now we're on uh, Haverig Beach and we'll see if we can find anything any good. See you in a bit. Okay, first target since we've moved location. Looks like a pound. It's an old one, I think. Yeah, pretty sure that's a quid. It's the right sort of size width shape can't actually see anything on it but i'm 100 percent certain that's a pound coin right let's carry on okay next target tuppence so we've been here for 10 minutes and we've already found loads more than we found on the other beach <laughs> oh well let's carry on okay next one is this little dog tag uh, a little bit of writing on the back can't really make out what that says. Ashley something. I don't think it's a phone number. I think it's a, yeah, a patent number or something maybe. Who knows. Oh well. Let's carry on. Okay. Here's the next one. Uh, it's hard to say. I think it's a coin. It looks like about the shape and size of a penny. Modern. Uh, it's coming up in 93, 94. So I think that's probably what that is. Let's carry on. Okay. Looks like we've got another little coin. Um, I thought maybe a 5p at first, but I'm not so sure now. Um, could be a 5p, could be a decimal half penny. Uh, let's try and get that quick clean. There we go. Unfortunately, I couldn't get much off it. Um, I think that's a decimal half penny. Uh, just going by the colour there. Um, it's not particularly thick either. So we'll get that proper clean when we get home, see if we can get anything off that. And let's go on to the next one. Okay, looks like we've got another coin. This one's a bit bigger. Um, an old penny, possibly. Under that green, there's a nice coppery colour to it. 
I reckon that's an old penny. Uh, yeah, you can just about see Britannia. So hold that in the light. See it there? Uh, let's try and give that a bit clean. I don't think we're going to be able to give that a clean though. Okay, there we go. Um, I think you can just about make out a date. I think it's 1913, um, but the back is knackered. Um, I tried to get some of that crust off it, and I think I might have taken some of the base metal off there. But oh well, we'll try and clean that when we get home. Right, let's carry on. Okay, so we just had this one up. Um, it was mid 90s, it was quite high. Um, I did have a quick look, there's a bit of detail on this side. I can't quite make out what it says. I thought it might have been an old coin for a second, but I think it's like a little bag seal. Uh, just give it a quick clean with a brush. See if we can get anything off that. Okay, there we go. Give it a quick clean. Um, Henry Tate and Son. Live 60, possibly. Uh, tried to do a bit of Googling on it, but my signal's not very good, so I couldn't, couldn't really check that one out. But I think that's a little seal of some sort. Do a bit more research when we get home on that one. Right, let's carry on. Okay guys, so I'm gonna record the outro back of the car because my microphone, the little connector part is bent. It's not working properly now, so you know, it's a bit windy, so I thought I'd better record it here. Um, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Uh, the second beach was obviously a lot better than the first. Uh, we found some coins, um, met a nice family that were on holiday. Uh, so shout out to them, because I think they're gonna to subscribe to my channel. I hope they do. Uh, comment if you did. And um, yeah, so hopefully next week we're going to be out on the new permission uh, that we managed to secure yesterday. Um, I did text the uh, the farmer just to give him my number. I haven't heard anything back from him, but I'll give him a ring next week. So hopefully, if the weather's good, we'll head over there and see what we can find out on the land. It'll be a lot better than the beach, I'm sure. So we will see you next week, guys. Bye for now.